sketchy. I, I see that red laser. <laughs> I, I I see that laser. Like, I didn't see the laser. It's not even looking at me. <laughs> <laughs>
find the topic that you want to talk about and it gives you all the verses in the Bible. It's great for all you Christian commentators. I'll put the link in the description, so if you want to use it, I would highly recommend it. The first one, the first verse that really stands out for me when you're talking about being called to something is uh, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 and it's for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans for welfare not for evil to give you a future and a hope that literally is just saying that God knows what he's going to do with your life he will lead you down a path where you will realize maybe you might realize and you might not I think I'm pretty blessed to actually finally realize where my life is going and what I'm to do with it but eventually it might come to a point where you do see what God wants you to do and if you don't it's not a bad thing but if you do it's not it doesn't make you more holy than somebody else but it's pretty awesome that God calls us and puts us in a place where he realizes what we are to do with our life even though we may not realize it ourselves if you don't realize it you can go your whole life without realizing what god wants you to do but then you probably could be in that point where god wants you to be when you don't even realize it i mentioned earlier that it's been on the mind of some people and it's been on the mind of our friend and a lot of people's friends mr butterbean but cory uh, or butterbean whatever you want to call him <laughs> he's been struggling with what he wants to do with his life he doesn't know whether he wants to become a teacher or whether he wants to star in a radio show. He's struggling to just kind of see where God is leading him. And as Christians, you kind of just have to pray. And you kind of just have to wait and have faith that God will put you in a place where he wants you to be. And you may never realize it. It's not a bad thing, as I said. But he will put you there eventually if you really want to know what he wants you to do with your life pray and read your bible i'm so bad for saying that you should pray and you should read your bible because i'm a bit of a hypocrite because there's times when things are going well for me and i don't read my bible but there's times when things are going good and i do read my bible and it's all great in my own life i felt called to become a teacher when i had gone into university which i've just passed finally after five years before i got into university i hadn't clue what i was going to do with my life I eventually got into university and I had to complete a foundation course, like an introduction course, before I could get into the full-time university course. And when I completed that course at the end of the year, I had to pick what I wanted to do for my full-time course. So they give you a big long list of all the, the different courses that you could pick. And because I was doing computing, it had to be a computing course. So I was reading through all these different computing courses and I finally got down to the computing with education one. And when I read it, Something in my mind just kind of went click. I was like, this is it. This is something which I'm supposed to do. It's kind of like a feeling I had never felt since I became a Christian all those years ago. It was just something I was like, I recognize this. I know this feeling. This is the feeling I got when I became a Christian. This is what I'm supposed to do. So ever since I got that, all these doors have been opening. I've just kind of been led down this path. I haven't had much of a say in it, but it's been great. Like I finally realized that I do want to become a teacher. It's not even that God is making me want to become a teacher. I see that I do want to be a teacher. I want to help mold the minds of young people and help them achieve the best that they can, but also do it in a Christian manner. But anyway, guys, if you ever feel called, pray about it. If you feel that you are being called, follow what you think is calling you. Because the worst thing you can do is hear something and feel something and just be like the entire time should should i go that way is that where i'm meant to go if you feel like you're being called in a direction just walk that direction and see what happens because more than likely that's where god wants you to be so guys i hope you enjoyed that i'm glad to be back i don't know what's going to happen with my channel i don't want to do another update because i'm fed up doing updates but Please leave a comment if you have any questions, if you like the video, leave a like, etc, etc. My name is Jacob Potato, everybody. I am a Christian gamer, and I will see you all next time.